All right, good morning. We're back on the record in the 53rd Circuit Court for the County of Sheboygan. Our next case up is COG Group v. GSM Recruiting, file 21-8831CZ. We're providing public access in the courtroom and online. Counsel, you want to state your appearance for the record? May it please the court, Your Honor, Stephan Scholl appearing on behalf of plaintiff, the COG Group, Inc. And Mr. Ekdahl, Mr. Ek, can you hear us? Mr. Ekdahl, can you hear us? Looks like he's not hearing us. I'm not able to hear. I, it's my computer says my speaker is not working. I'm I'm wondering, could you kick me out and bring me back in, possibly? Okay. Yeah, he was in the case earlier today and it worked just fine. So we'll, I don't know what the deal is. All right, Mr. Ekdahl, is that better? Can you hear us? I, I can hear. I, I, I don't have uh, an explanation for that, Judge. I wasn't able to hear anything. Okay. No, no worries. All right. So I, Mr. Scholl had just stated his appearance is all, and I said I called the case and said we're uh, public access uh, in the courtroom and online. And so we have Mr. Ekdahl for the defense appearing by Zoom as well. Mr. Scholl, this is your motion to compel, um, are alleging that the defense has not filed their initial disclosures. Uh, does that still remain the case? That is my understanding, Your Honor. We, Judge, I, I acknowledge that. There's no dispute that they're not filed yet. Okay, well, I would enter a motion to, uh, gr I would enter an order granting the motion to compel and ordering the defendant to file the initial disclosures within how many days, Mr. Scholl? Well, Your Honor, uh, the disclosures were due by court rule um, on May 31st, um, and then they were not received uh, up until the time of the scheduling order in this matter on June 7th, uh, at which time the court ordered them to be filed within 14 days, which was June 21st. Um, we are now obviously well past both of those dates. Um, Your Honor, I emailed uh, Mr. Ekdahl on July 7th. Uh, to you know, you're kind of arguing your motion that I just said I would grant. So you want to well, just well, tell me when you want them by? Well, Your Honor, I want them. <laughs> obviously, I wanted them on June 21st. Um, but Your Honor, I've also okay, asked Mr. Scholl, Mr. Scholl, Mr. Scholl you're, 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 you're telling me when you wanted them by. Okay, so I'm going to give the defense 14 days. So I'll enter an order granting your motion to compel. Defense must uh, file them within 14 days of today's date. No cost or award. Your Honor, may I, may I ask, please, um, and, and I appreciate the court's um, indulgence, but the court already ordered the defendant to file their disclosures by June 21st. Um, right, that's always true when there's a motion to compel, right? You no, know. Your Honor, uh, because generally... Oh, well, I mean, there was a scheduling order. I mean, I, I'm granting... What do you want? I can't make him give it to you I, on I'm June 21st. Cross, Your Honor. The, the, the defendant has already violated an order of this court. Generally, when there's discovery, there's a due date, and then the, the, the party uh, that is asked to provide the discovery hasn't provided it, and then the court will go ahead and order that the discovery be provided. The court has already ordered the defendant to um, provide their disclosure by June 21st, by, by virtue of the court's order dated June 7th. So this is another order? What makes the court think the defendant is going to abide by this order when it didn't abide by the court's scheduling order? 
I'm not going to argue with Mr. Scholl. I've made my ruling. Your motion to compel is granted. The defense must file the initial disclosures within 14 days of today's date and no costs are ordered. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you both. Thank you, Judge. All right. Looks like our next cases are on the family division docket. So we will um, we'll adjourn the, the live stream will be terminated until looks like 150 in the afternoon because we've got uh, family division and non public hearings until then. We can go off the record until the next family division case. <laughs>